according to the recently obtained Freedom of Information Act records that were gathered by the news site The Drive. The document claimed that three unmanned aerial vehicles buzzed three destroyers for several days. The mysterious aircraft were described in the logs as unmanned aerial vehicles, and as of right now it's not known what these unidentified crafts are. The document states that three unidentified objects chased and flew circles around three US warships, and this was off the coast of California in 2019, with the reports going on to detail that one of these objects was able to match the speed and bearing of one destroyer for over 90 minutes. So far, all this information has come directly from details released from the ship's logs. The USS Kidd was one of these ships that were approached by these mysterious objects. As of right now, many sites are labelling these crafts as drones, but in the official ship's logs they are described as being unidentified aerial crafts. The logs go into detail that as many as six of these crafts were observed flying around the ship, saying that these objects were seen performing brazen manoeuvres. The logs went on to detail the following. Kid reported UAV overhead. White light identified hovering over the ship's flight deck. Two UAV spotted off the starboard wing. Six minutes later, four UAV spotted off the starboard bridge. End quote. It's interesting to note that these Navy vessels are equipped with some of the best tech on the planet, including sensors, radar, thermal imaging, and electro-optical systems. However, none of them were able to track and explain what these unidentified crafts were. Due to not being able to get an answer for what these crafts were, the Navy reached out to the Coast Guard, FBI, and other agencies to try and get an answer for what was flying around them. However, the investigation failed to turn up with an answer. Some have gone on to question whether these unidentified crafts were observing the ships. After all, this isn't the first time that unidentified crafts have been reported near our ships. In fact, ex-servicemen have come forward in detail the mysterious encounters with these crafts. Due to them being seen and reported around bodies of water, researchers have said these are different to standard unidentified flying objects and it's caused them to be given the name of unidentified submerged objects. These USOs are reported to look very similar to that of UFOs, and it's caused some to question whether the two are different, or whether normal UFOs have the ability to go underwater without being detected. Reports on USOs are not new. They go back many years and sometimes come from very credible sources. In one instance that the former US Navy commander David Fravor narrated, he saw a dark mass underwater while they were retrieving a drone from flying practice, and described it as a big mass kind of circular. The second time the pilot saw the dark mass, a practice torpedo that the pilot had been sent to recover was sucked down into the ocean, in the presence of an underwater mass that was never to be seen again. USOs are normally passed off as common objects which are distorted below the surface, but trained Navy personnel are more familiar with the ocean. So when military officials claim to have witnessed a USO or UFO sighting, it automatically becomes more credible. Reports of USOs go back years, with some even being detected by nuclear submarines, rigged with the most sensitive listening technology in the world. People who wish to remain anonymous have detailed their encounters with these unidentified submerged objects. In 2007, an eyewitness of the coast of Half Moon Bay, California, claimed she observed three UFOs while traveling on the cruise ship Dawn Princess, renamed in 2017 as Pacific Explorer. The witness claimed three objects came into view, all uniform with each other, evenly spread in a line, parallel to the ship's hull and hovering just above the water surface. Nearly spherical objects, glowing in the sky appeared to stay in one place while the ship moved past them. They were hovering but didn't disturb the water just below them. Just as they went out of sight, the far left object splashed and disappeared into the water. Another person who was on a cruise ship detailed a similar incident saying that while approaching Florida, she and her husband saw a mysterious circular object enter the water. She said that this object was shaped like a disc, 
and that when it entered the water there was no disturbance. She said that her husband had been a pilot for over 30 years, and that he'd never seen anything that matched what they saw. She said that after the craft went into the water, they tried to look around to see if it would re-emerge, but it didn't. It's interesting that the Navy and other military branches are being more open to the idea of UFOs. Those who've seen UFOs have said it's nice that they're starting to be taken more seriously. Another thing to note is that under a new law, the US will have to release everything they know about unidentified flying objects, and perhaps this could be a way of warming us up to the things that they're going to release. Regardless, believers have said they're excited, and that is about time that the people were told the truth about what's going on. It's important to remember that over 80% of our ocean remains unexplored, and that every year scientists and researchers are still making incredible discoveries beneath the waves. In fact, it's said that every year scientists discover between 1,000 to 2,000 new species, showcasing just how little we know about the underwater world. Underwater archaeologists are even finding ancient ruins beneath our oceans, showing us that at one point in time people would have lived there. It's likely that as the years go on, scientists and amateur researchers are going to find more interesting discoveries. Whether they will agree on what they found though is another matter. So what do you make of this interesting report? What do you think the USS Kid was approached by? Do you think it was a UFO? An unidentified submerged object? Or something like a high-tech drone? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.